Have you ever worked in a nursing home and you have to make a bed, but you don't really know how? But there's a right way that you have to make it? Well, here's yeah. a resident isn't in the room and they're out in the dining room doing activities. So this is the perfect time to make a bed. It is called an unoccupied bed, and this is how you do it. The first things first is you will go get your linens. That will be a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, a blanket, and a pillowcase. Once you do that, you will carry the linens away from your uniform because if they touch your uniform, that is considered contaminating the clean linens and you will have to put them in a laundry bin and grab some to more. receive the linens, you need to go back to the residence room. You'll either set the linens on the bedside table, the overbed table, or the top of the chair. If you sit it in the seat of the chair, that is contaminating the linens and you will have to put them in the laundry. After that, you will set the bed up to your waist for good body mechanics. So that's meaning that you're not bending over down and you're hurting your body trying to make this bed and your body will be much more relaxed if you put it up to your waist. After that, you will lay the bed flat. That's kind of called the supine position. So the bed will be completely flat. After you lay the bed flat, you will then Loosen the linens, so you will roll the blanket and the flat sheet, you will roll them together, and then you will take the fitted sheet, undo it from the corners, and then you will roll it from the head of the bed to the foot of the bed. So the head of bed is considered the cleanest, and the foot of the bed is considered the dirtiest, so you always go from cleanest to dirtiest. you roll the linens, you will then put them wherever the facility allows you to, such as a laundry hamper that's in the resident's room, or a laundry basket that is outside of the residence room, or you can just lay it at the foot of the bed on the floor. Now that the soiled linens are off of the bed, you will then get your clean linens. First, you will start out with the fitted sheet. You will fan fold it on the bed in the center, and you will work from one side to the next. So if there's rails, put down the rails, and you will start Say you start from the right side, you will start by putting, you will fit the corners on the right side from top to bottom. And then you will put the flat sheet on top of that, doing the same thing, fan folding it to the center. And then you will put the top blanket on and fan fold it to the center and only do the side that you're working to do on. that, you need to minor the corners, which would be the flat sheet and the blanket, and that is taking the bottom the foot end of the bed you'll take it kind of make a triangle and you will tuck whatever's left under the bed once you do that you will move to the other side of the bed and do the same steps as you did for the first side once you do all of that you will fold the top sheet over the blanket to make kind of a cuff and then once you do that with one hand you will grab the clean pillowcase with one hand and then you will put the pillowcase over your arm and make it inside out. Using the same hand that is in the pillowcase, you will grab a corner of the pillow and use your free hand to cover the rest of the pillow with a clean pillowcase, making it right side out. And then you will lay it on the bed and make sure that the open edge is away from Once the door. that, you'll do a toe plate. A toe plate is where you go to the foot of the bed and you put your fingers in the center, like pinching the blanket and you'll pull it up and that's so the residents have room for their feet so they don't get a contracture once you do that you will then fan fold the cuff that you made and the top edge will be more towards the center of the bed so that kind of gives it gives it the finish and once you do that you will then lower the bed and make sure if there are rails that you put the rails up for the resident and once you do that, you're pretty much done. You just need to remove your soiled linens. And that's the end of making occupied bed.